everybody, this is Praxis and the windows. They arrived this morning and quite a few of them are in. We got the entire row done down here with the exception of this one. This one's being left out because that's where the concrete's gonna get poured in through this window opening to do our slab in a little bit. So we're not putting that one in. And we got quite a number of them, well, actually we got half of them done up on the top side. When we first got here this morning though, we couldn't jump right into doing the windows and it's not just because they hadn't been delivered yet. They uh, got delivered a few hours after we were here. But we used all that time just shoveling out. Josh came uh, early this morning and he was shoveling out all this area because we needed to get access to work on the windows. We needed to be able to move the scaffolding. As a matter of fact, the scaffolding started here this morning and Josh and I, at the end of the day, just moved it over there. So first thing uh, when we're here tomorrow, we can start working on the windows over there. Um, but uh, it's just, a, it was a lot of, you know, shoveling. It took like probably about two hours just to get to the point where we could start working. And it wasn't just shoveling outside. There was shoveling inside. Snow had gone in through all these holes. I was shoveling off the decks up there, all the way up on the third floor. There was, well, here's a video clip that I recorded earlier of, you know, what things look like upstairs. Um, there was just, there was a lot of work to do before we could get to doing the actual work. But things are starting to move again. You know, I've been, emotionally, I've been up and down and up and down uh, lately. Uh, at the moment, I'm feeling pretty good because we don't have another major snowstorm coming within at least the next 48 hours, we don't have any more major snowstorms coming, uh, but it's, it's, been, uh, it's been a bumpy ride. The reason that I wanted to position us here is I wanted to talk a little bit about one uh, actual construction error. I'm not just here to complain about the snow. Uh, one construction error that has been, well, not even, I'm not gonna call it an error because it was done on purpose, um, but the rough openings, which is the space between these boards, uh, was left for popping in these windows. The last time I did a house and the last time I did my shed, I made those openings pretty close to uh, exactly what the inside um, width of the window was. And some of them were maybe a little too tight and I had to cut them back down. So when I was doing these, I was giving myself a little more breathing room, a little more space. And some of these are a little bit on the edge of being too much space. Um, I got into that situation mostly because I didn't have the windows until this morning. So I didn't know the exact uh, dimension between these nail holes on either side that you have to go up. If I'd known that the nail holes were so tight and they're, they're really needlessly tight, I, it seems like if they made these flanges a little bit wider, uh, it would, wouldn't have cost them anything other than like, like one tenth of one cent of extra plastic. And it would have made the job a lot easier. I don't know why they made them so narrow like that, but um, they did, and it was it was kind of hard putting the things in. So if there's a lesson here at all, uh, it's I guess it's helpful if you can get the materials on site because I was just working with what was told to me as being the rough opening, and I expanded that a little bit. But apparently the rough opening that I was told had already been expanded upon. So um, you know all these holes are a little bit bigger than they should. So, but that just comes down to the, the idea of like, you know, someone tells you something and they had already padded it and then you pad it a little bit more and you know, it's a telephone game. Uh, you know, by the, by the time you're done, you know, you've got an extra foot <laughs> that you didn't need because everybody was wanting to make sure that it's not too small. But other than that, things are going pretty well. Uh, we're gonna be back. Uh, actually the day after tomorrow to finish up the rest of the windows. Uh, and it's already starting to feel warmer in there just by virtue of having the, uh, the windows on here. You don't have the f fresh cold air co constantly coming in, getting rid of the, uh, the thermal energy that's coming out of the earth. That's it. Thanks for watching.